Hi, I'm here with Chris Mapes, COO of Lincoln Electric. Now, we've just uh, witnessed a talk about the skills gap and how Lincoln, as well as other organizations, are trying to address it in welding. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Why is the skills gap such a huge problem, specifically for welding? Well, the reason it's a huge problem is that uh, when you think about welding, one of the critical elements of welding is it's in so many of the durable goods products that are driving the economy here in North America. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter whether you're talking about a commercial construction, or oil and gas build out, uh, new pipelines that are required. We need skilled welders to be able to be successful manufacturers here in our economy. And currently, it's a struggle to find enough of those individuals to really meet the needs of current manufacturers. And Lincoln Electric has done some really cool things in trying to address this problem. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the technology that you guys have put out there to help uh, address the skills gap problem in welding? Absolutely. And, and first, it's important to us we're the largest welding company in the world. Uh, we recognize that it doesn't do us any good to develop new welding technologies if we don't have welders and applications that can actually drive those products. So welding expertise and welding education is a critical element of our long-term strategy. One of the things that we've done through our automation group is built the Vertex technology, which really in its simplest form is a virtual reality tool that assists individuals in learning how to weld. And we're so excited about the tool because if, uh, if you're a student or if you're a young adult or an adult and you've uh, seen a video game, then that's what you're going to do. It's just going to be a video game that assists you in really learning how to weld. And you were telling me about some of the uh, kind of uh, uh, cooler results that you've seen with this tool uh, early, earlier today. Now, how, how, what are the scores that people are getting and how are they improving them with this tool? You know, that's, the, that's what's amazing. So I think the best thing, the best way to approach that is really just to give you an example. So uh, we, would, uh, we would take uh, uh, the trailer that we utilize with the American Welding Society or we would bring our Vertex technologies to various events around the country. Those events might be the state fairs in Ohio or Texas or New York. It might be the National FFA Convention. Uh, it might be the USA Skills event. And uh, this technology is in a multitude of these events. So when you're at an event, uh, we would probably have a thousand or more uh, students that would want to come try the device. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's simply amazing because you'll have someone come up who maybe has never welded before, try the device for the first time and score enormously high. Mm -hmm. uh, we also see groups of individuals in community colleges who are currently in welding training and you see the competition and their desire to get a better and better score. So what's exciting for us is it really enables individuals to see the technology and see the potential for a career in welding and see what it might mean for them. I'm going to put you on the spot here a little bit. Have you uh, used the device yourself? I have used the device. Um, in fact, that one thing about the Lincoln Electric, if you're an executive at Lincoln Electric, you've used more than device because most of our uh, uh, employees are engineers and they have also went through a significant period of welding training. Mm -hmm. And now we've implemented the Vertex into the welding training format and I have used the welding simulator. And I'll tell you, my score is good, but there's a reason why I'm the chief operating officer <laughs> and not the welder on our manufacturing floor. So. I'm proud of my score. I love the tool, but I'm probably not the highest. All right, Chris, thank you so much for talking to us today. Chris May, CEO, COO of Lincoln Electric. I'm here with Deanna Postalweight, the virtual reality business unit manager at Lincoln Electric. Now, we've just heard Chris Mapes talk a little bit about the virtual reality technology that they use. Deanna's going to tell us a little bit more. So why is Lincoln so excited about this product? We're very excited about this product. We introduced the Vertex 360 at the Fabtech show in 2009, and we called it a revolution in welding training. And it definitely was. If you've ever come to an event where you've seen the Vertex 360, mm -hmm. it draws crowds. Everyone from an eight-year-old eight girl to a 70-year-old man wants to try welding because it's exciting and it's fun. Um, what we did is we changed our tagline recently and we said virtual reality, the virtual reality welding revolution is here, but it's on the move. So when you design products, one of the things that you try to think ahead of is your customers' decisions on where they're going to use the product. And 
in this case, we had no idea that people would take this machine everywhere. They were putting it in, the, in vans, in backs of pickup trucks, they're taking it to events. A and the, the idea behind the new product, the Vertex Mobile, is just that, to be able to make it more portable, more mobile, and a way to continue the outreach in a further, further progression so people everywhere can use the Vertex as a part of not only supplementing welding training, but also um, getting people to get excited to try welding as an, as an opportunity to learn an occupation. Yeah, you know, I was in that trailer yesterday just to take a look, and kids just came in without any instruction, went up to the devices, kind of, oh, I put the helmet on and I use the torch like this. It seems like, you know, in, in maybe a space where there's more kids, they just race in there. Um, so it seems like an exciting kind of tool. Do you think other industries are utilizing this kind of idea as much as they should, or should they be expanding more? So we, we actually have partnered with a company. So the, the origin of the Vertex 360 started with a product called SimWelder that was introduced by a company by the name of VR Sim, mm -hmm. And they continue to be our partner on development moving forward. And they have additional um, simulation products. So they just introduced, I believe last year, a spray paint simulator. So there are all kinds of opportunities in this virtual reality space to allow people to learn without using all the materials or um, being right, right in the, the occupation doing their job. So it allows you to refine a skill before you ever try it. So if you think about, uh, you, we, uh, people always think about a flight simulator. Right. So uh, you want your airline pilot to have tried flight before he's actually taking you on, on your first flight. So that idea can grow into other right. occupations. And the thing that I think is so amazing is when you look at our kids today, I, I have a 14-year-old son, everything he does is interactive. Right. His phone, his iPad, his computer, he's learning online all the time. So this bridges that gap. So all of a sudden, they're excited to be learning, which, it, which is really a go the end goal, right? Right. right. Th it is cool to think about new ideas and progressing, especially using technology to address these problems of, you know, uh, I believe the figure that was cited earlier today was 288,000 deficit in welders in by uh, 2018, which seems like a huge figure and how do you overcome that? But these kinds of tools and then partnerships with other companies seem like real uh, steps forward in terms of getting kids, getting young people excited about a career in manufacturing. Right, and, and the, the idea is um, this whole manufacturing space. So welding is, is just one of those occupations. So if you look across the floor at Fabtech, there's all kinds of occupations where we have a, a need for a skilled tradesperson uh, in, in our workforce. And, and those opportunities are, are out there and, and are very, very needed. So um, a lot of tools in our booth, besides the Vertex 360, are actually designed around that, that same idea. So so the Vertex is one piece. Um, we have a robotic welding education cell. So taking something that's an advanced manufacturing skill, putting it in a package that basically can roll through a standard doorway right. and teach not only welding, but then that advanced skill of robotic welding. That's so cool. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you very much. This is Deanna Postalweight, Virtual Reality Business Unit Manager at Lincoln Electric. I'm Brian Lane. Thanks for joining us.